Just the monsters come down with your breeches of deer skin and jackets of brown. With your red woolen caps and your moccasins come to the gathering summons of trumpet and drum. Come down with your rifle, let gray wolf and fox howl all in the shadow of primitive rocks. Let bare feet securely from pink pen and stall. Here's two-legged game for your powder and ball. And cheer, cheer, the green mountaineer. And cheer, cheer, the green mountaineer. On the south came the Hessians, our land to police and armed for the battle while canting of peace on our east came the british the red coat okay right off the bat i'm going to show you there's little cutouts for leaves for your hand thumb finger when you're gripping it also a chamber indicator right there if you can see that so you can tell whether it's loaded not loaded this one just did come with the sights the regular white sights maybe one day I'll upgrade to uh, some fiber optic color sights or something like that depends on if I decide to keep it or just put it in the trunk trunk gun or car gun put it back in the safe <laughs> let's sit for uh, who knows how long so anyways it is a good comfortable gun I would say it's reliable can trust and defend your life with it. Uh, is it a perfect weapon? No. Does a perfect weapon exist? I don't think so. Probably make a bunch of enemies on that one. You know what I've realized? We've owned this little PT-709 for a while. Never did a full video review of it. I have the original seven round magazine that comes with one in there. And then last year I picked up three of these ten round Pro Mag extended mags which I've had hit or miss results with the three of them. Two seem to work, one gives me a feeding issue, I don't know why. But anyways, you know what I need, think I need to do? Take this out somewhere tomorrow and go shoot it. So the only ammo I have left a 9mm. Guess I gotta get some. Did a lot of shooting last summer. 28 rounds of 115 grain uh, CCIs. I think those are CCIs. Uh, anyways, a red and white box. Uh, white with red, so, anyways. I think they're, maybe they're Winchesters. Anyways, it doesn't matter, but, uh, aluminum casings, uh, non-reloadable. I don't reload, so, anyways. What I could find on the web says Taurus discontinued the PT-709. Doesn't tell me when, in favor of the new G2S, so... Thinking we got this thing in 2017, 2016. I can't remember when it was. I have to go back and look at my first video when I posted it. Seems like it was only a couple years ago. Anyways, a G2S. Yes, that's a popular pistol. So, but uh, 709 is not bad in its own. Would I carry this every day? Yes. Do I? Almost. The weight 18.5 ounces unloaded, 3.28 inch barrel, overall length. Uh, or overall height at 4.53, overall length 6.25, slides thickness 0.95, a little under an inch, frame thickness 0.96, trigger reach 2.53, so it is a long trigger, I'll see if I get that on video, magazine capacity 7 plus 1, double action pull, single action pull is 5 pounds, the double action is 5 and 3 quarters, so I don't know if it feels that heavy, maybe I've just got a, a strong hand, strong grip, but Anyways, let's get this thing out and go shoot it. One thing I have struggled with this gun to do is take it down. You can see the little takedown pins. You're supposed to pull it back to the mark. Uh, pull this down, pull the trigger. The slide is supposed to come off. <laughs> I've never been able to do it. Originally got this for my daughter. When she turned 18, she wanted to carry, which was admirable. I thought it was great. It would fit her hands very well. With only a few pistols there at the gun shop that did it. I think at the time I didn't realize that these guns were going for 195. We paid 250 for it, so we paid a little bit more than what we should have. Did get it locally, and we did help support a local gun shop. So, needless to say, the thing that I don't like about it, never really cared for it, is this angled trigger guard. Yeah, it doesn't allow you to get a second hand around it, get a good purchase on it. 
you know, I like to do that with my PT-99. Um, my Makarov is curved, never been able to do it with that, so, you know, double-handed. Uh, but anyways, it's not a bad shooting pistol for what it is. You can see here with my big mitt, my pinky and almost my <laughs> index finger curl underneath. Kind of doing a weird grip just to get a good purchase on it. At least get these two fingers here onto it, so... Um, does feel a little bit better with the 10 round magnet. Let me show you that. Pro bag filler in the bottom isn't exactly perfect, but that allows me to give a good grip. But the problem is that extended mag is square, so it kind of throws your grip off. Your hand is wrapping around, but the plastic needs to curve in a little bit, but you can feel it. You can see it goes from curved to flat, so I don't know if I'd be better off to take that little, uh, bottom uh, gap piece off of there or not but anyways there's my big old mitt you know I used to love to carry my Makarov 9 by 18 I carry that thing for probably 10 or 12 years as my personal everyday carry weapon and then I put that in a gun safe and started carrying my PT-99 carry that for probably another 10 or 15 years so last year or so I've been carrying this this isn't bad. It's comfortable. It's lightweight. I don't know what the ounce, ounces and dimensions are, but I can show you a little shot of that if you're interested. I do have it in an old world leather holster, number 23449. It was made for a full size uh, Taurus PT99 that would stick the barrel out. But, you know, with this uh, little 709 in there, I think I did a video on that. Only a little bit sticks out. And it actually keeps it close to me and is a. Uh, Quite a comfortable way to keep it uh, concealed. Anyways, tomorrow if it's not raining, we'll take this out and go shoot it. At least 28 rounds for it. That's all I got. I don't know where I can get any more 9mm ammo paying scalping fees at the local gun shops. But anyways, we'll go have some fun with it and uh, put some bullets down range. Okay, that's what that ammo is. It's federal. <laughs> 9mm Luger, 150 grain, full metal jacket, round nose, so I thought it was CCI's or Winchester's, but it's federal, if that matters to anybody. It's 34 degrees, but I'm going to go up in the mountain, so it's going to be considerably colder. Probably around 30, but anyways, I guess I'm going to go unprepared, <laughs> just to get out of Dodge. There he is. Apparently I got a crow that doesn't like me. Oh, a bunch of crows. They don't like me being in that area. Oh well, too bad. Kind of target practice with the PT-709. Never really became proficient with it. And you know, I've been thinking about this. I've been carrying it on and off over the last year for a uh, everyday carry. I mean, if somebody's like five feet, seven feet away from me, I know I'm just going to point and shoot. It's going to be accurate enough to kill them, but... You know, if the target was running at me, engaging me, I had to run from it, something like that. I don't think I'm as good with it as my uh, PT-99, which, damn, I could hit a dot on eye. Well, like I showed you before, the PT-709's got the cutouts, got the mag drop. If you're not squeezing the handle, the mag will drop free. It's got the little trigger bar on the safety, but it's also got a manual safety. I love that feature. So, and what else can I tell you? The sights are pretty simple. The gun is very slim, I'll show you the dimensions of that. It's just not a bad all around gun. The only part that uh, throws me off is the curvature of this front trigger guard. Why they didn't make that scalloped is beyond me. You know, the single stack mag, seven mags, kind of small for my big hands, but let's see how she shoots. Let's charge the thing and now it's dead. Damn it, must have left it on or it must have got bumped on on the way here. Forgot to take it off safety. Can't tell if I'm hitting it or hitting the damn tree bank. I guess we hit the damn thing, so it tipped over. Let's go stand the target back up. Looks like two fresh ones three fresh ones. It's like I hit the log too, so anyways. 
like I said, I gotta get proficient with this thing. Okay, let's try it from five yards. Oh, the spot was more like 15. I'm not sure if I wanna shoot steel at five yards. I don't know if that's a good move. You know what? I don't think I wanna shoot steel at five yards. <laughs> uh, that just doesn't seem good. We'll come back here at about the 12. It's gotta be 12 or 15 yards. I haven't paced it off, so it's just a general thought. Okay, trying to do this, aim and hold the camera all at once. That's seven rounds, I locked back. Ah, shit, trying to watch the camera, watch the gun. Okay, I can't watch camera, watch gun, same time. Trying to prop the phone up. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I'm here to sting, it's a steel ring, so I think we're good. Really are great little pistols, I mean, you know. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's small. It's just it's a good shooter. Probably more accurate than I am with it. I gotta get used to it, so. Anyways, like I said, the only thing I can't do is do the takedown. So, anyways, I kind of lip wrist to that in. I really must say the trigger action on this is very smooth, very crisp. A little bit of a reset there. My hands are frozen, man. 31 degrees out here. <clears throat> I know it may look warmer. But anyways, I don't know. Would I recommend anybody getting one? Yes. Are they good? Yes. Is it a Glock or an FN? No. You get what you pay for, but, you know, they worked the bugs out of this one. This one went to be the G2, the G2C, and as it progressed, up to the G3. Want to help support this channel? J join Gun Owners of America.